BYU Mars Rover team from Provo, Utah is proud to present its rover design for the 2024 University Rover Challenge and to demonstrate its rover's current ability to execute competition tasks effectively. Our rover weighs in at 33.5 kilograms with each of its two additional modules weighing under 15 kilograms. The rover can fold to fit within a 1.2 meter cube and can be ready to compete in under 15 minutes. In order to traverse the extreme terrains at the Mars Desert Research Station, our rover uses air-filled wheels with custom polyurethane treads to maximize traction. The rover utilizes a rocker bogey system to maintain contact, scale inclines of up to 45 degrees, and traverse obstacles of up to 40 centimeters in height. Communication with the rover is achieved through a 900 megahertz directional antenna at the base station, which maintains a reliable connection at a range of one kilometer. A 48 volt lithium ion battery provides the rover with enough power to drive at speeds up to 4 km an hour for 60 minutes. In the event of a rover malfunction, a kill switch is easily accessible on the rover's exterior. To increase situational awareness in extreme environments, the rover is equipped with a new off-the-shelf FPV camera system. The camera operates on a dedicated 5.8 GHz channel to minimize interference with other communication networks and video feeds, and its high quality video allows our operators to navigate safely. A new custom quadcopter will assist our rover during the extreme delivery task. Our Part 107 certified pilots will use the drone to quickly survey large areas of desert for sites of interest and potential obstacles. The drone is capable of flying for 15 minutes while carrying an inert mass of 1.3 kilograms and operates on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band to minimize interference. For the autonomy task, our rover uses RTK GPS modules to achieve precise localization and mobility. This provides relative positioning accuracy up to one centimeter and enables the rover to navigate to within three meters of GPS waypoints. The coordinate transmission from the base station uses ROS to interface with the rover software. The rover uses the Aruco Detect ROS library, a webcam, and a Z stereoscopic camera to detect Aruco tags from a distance of 9.5 meters. An unscented Kalman filter is used to navigate the rover to the Aruco tags, and a hexagonal search pattern is implemented if a tag is not immediately detected by the rover. This year, the rover will use a new custom-trained YOLO V8 computer vision model to detect water bottles and orange mallets using the Z camera. The Z is also being programmed to generate a depth field while traveling, which will be used to autonomously detect and avoid obstacles using a potential field. The rover's LED strip notifies observers of when the rover is operating autonomously and when it has completed each stage of the autonomy task. To improve training sessions for the equipment servicing task, we've entirely redesigned the BYU Mach Lander. The new lander's dimensions and features are more realistic to the competition setting than our previous model, and its modular design enables us to increase the difficulty of our training program. The equipment servicing task is accomplished using a 6 degree of freedom SCARA type robot arm mounted on the central elevator. The lightweight carbon fiber arm consists of five serial joints driven by geared DC brushless Maxon motors and is remotely operated through an Xbox controller. The inverse kinematic controller has been expanded to incorporate the elevator and all three wrist joints providing the mobility required for the arm to pitch, roll, and yaw about the gripper tip. A new toggle feature has also been implemented to switch the arm's reference frame between the gripper and other mounted tools, allowing for rapid and intuitive manipulation of all lander equipment. Multiple camera feeds transmitted through the 900 MHz channel and the new FPV channel supply visual feedback of the arm's position to ensure successful task completion. Our rover is equipped with a brand new custom module to complete this year's science task. An onboard microscope and panoramic cameras will be used to survey the region and will be used alongside moisture and temperature sensors to select potential sites for investigation. A sheath drill and auger system is used to collect a sample at depths of up to 15 centimeters. The rover collects a sample using a 3D printed cache equipped with a compartment that remains open while the first 10 centimeters of soil are removed, and then seals to capture the soil sampled from the desired depth. A flavin adenine dinucleotide, or FAD detector, shines a blue light through the transparent wall of the cache and captures the green light emitted by any FAD coenzyme present. Images taken from the FAD detector are processed using the OpenCV li Python library to create a mask that filters out all non-green pixels, providing an estimate of the percentage of life in the sample. The temperature and moisture probes are also used to analyze the remaining soil in the drilled hole to aid with data analysis. Utilizing these methods, our new science module will provide quantifiable estimates of extinct or extant life. Thanks to this year's rigorous testing and improvements, the BYU Mars Rover team is prepared to excel at the 2024 University Rover Challenge.